Your LG sound plate is fast and easy to set up, and you'll be enjoying it before you know it. So let's get started. Once it's unboxed and you've picked out the spot where you want it, you'll need to attach the included power cord and plug into AC power. Place your television carefully on top of the sound plate. Then connect the included digital optical audio cable to the rear panel of the sound plate and to the digital audio output of the TV, pressing until you feel a gentle but secure click. Sound plate is designed to work with televisions which have this digital audio port, which has become common on modern televisions. Check your TV to be sure it's available. You might need to activate the digital optical audio out on the television, which will require you to go into the TV's setup menu. On LG TVs, for example, you would navigate to Settings, then Sound, then Sound Settings, then switch the TV speaker to Off, and set the digital sound to Auto. On the LAP240 and LAP340 model sound plates, if you select the Auto Power Mode with this switch on the rear panel, the sound plate will power on automatically when it detects an audio signal, and power off automatically too. All sound plate models connect wirelessly via Bluetooth as well, so you can stream the audio from compatible smartphones and tablets. Simply pair your device as you would with any other Bluetooth speaker, and the sound plate will appear on the list either as LG HTFs or LG sound plate. Bluetooth is also what enables the sound sync feature, which allows the sound plate to connect wirelessly to most 2013 and later LG televisions. With the model LAB540 all-in-one home theater system, the basic audio connection from the TV is the same with an optical cable, which in this case is sold separately. And now, since the 540 is a Blu-ray disc player with smart TV features as well, you'll need to connect its HDMI input on your TV with an HDMI cable, which is also sold separately. There's also an HDMI input on the sound plate if you want to connect a high-definition source, like a cable or satellite set-top box directly, playing back its audio and passing its video onto the TV. The 540 also comes with a separate wireless subwoofer, which we recommend you park about six inches from the wall or in a corner. The setup here couldn't be easier. With your sound plate powered on, just plug the subwoofer into a power outlet, wait a few seconds, and this little red light near the bottom will turn to green, indicating a successful link to the sound plate. That's all there is to it. The first time you use the 540, you can choose the language for the user interface, then wired or wireless internet connection. If wireless, once you select your Wi-Fi network, you might need to enter the password on this screen using the remote control. Click Next on the following two screens. On this final screen, click Finish and you're done with easy setup. The 540 is packed with features like private sound mode, which allows you to enjoy the audio from Blu-rays and streaming content over your smartphone headphones. If you're ready to use the LG SmartShare feature and connect to servers on your home network, click on this option and follow the on-screen directions. There's even a help button. Also take the time to explore the built-in access to premium content like Netflix, Vudu, and Hulu Plus as well as LG Smart World, your source for a wide variety of fun and free apps. Whichever sound plate you're using, we think you'll appreciate its quick, simple setup as much as its stylish looks and thrilling sound.